Hello guys and welcome back to Panzer Corps. Uh, last time we left off we took the Lutz down here in the south and now we're having to defend the northern approaches and my computer is also like catching on fire for some reason. Can't really tell why and I don't really know if it's due to drop in quality or whatnot so I'm just gonna go ahead and get some re re replacements. I always want to say reemplacements for these units. Uh, Consense doesn't need that good of replacements. Artillery, however, will, and uh, I wish to have a little bit more air support at some point in time. I don't know if I'll use the Pioneers during this time, as they're not really the best defensively. And I'll definitely go through and see who needs more, who needs less. To try and get everyone some proper replacements. So it'll be mostly good as Yagos and um, some artillery. So we'll go ahead and put these um, special troops right here. Because I want them A, to survive, and that's mainly it, I want them to survive. Um, over here, we're going to have need of a force to hold this. Mostly I'm just going to deploy Wehrmacht. Unless, can I afford some grenadiers? Oh, we don't have grenadiers. Never mind, I don't know what those are. <laughs> no idea. Definitely don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, does that mean Gripper's Yuggers are better than infantry at this point in time? Better versus tanks. Well, no, infantry are better versus tanks. Gripper's Yuggers are better versus infantry. Interesting. So I guess I'll have the infantry hold these um, kind of key-ish points. Have these infantry hold this there, and over here tanks will suffer a massive penalty trying to go through rivers, but the infantry won't. So I want some infantry heavy over here. Uh, try and get an AT gun over here. What really, I really need is some more artillery. So some artillery for these guys. I'm gonna pull this guy back to here and this guy back to here. Put an artillery unit there. So I need a. Uh, a few more bits of artillery. So let's see if we can get some cheap artillery. Uh, yeah, we got money for it. So we'll put this one guy here, move him up to right about uh, there-ish. That way they'll have to attack us over a bridge, and I'll move another artillery unit up to there. Just because I've recently discovered how freaking important support is. And... Since I know we're going to suffer a large assault at the beginning, I'm going to move this artillery piece up there. I already have an artillery piece up here, and I don't know much about it. Um, oops. It'd be nice to know more about it, but I don't. <laughs> it's pretty much what has happened over there. So I'll go ahead and deploy my AT gun over here. Um, pop that guy up there. We don't have any Stukas, and those are going to be... I feel those are going to be important. Ten six, but these have better fighter cover and fighter defense. Yeah, but I want the Stuka for its smashing power. All right, now we have some extra units to deploy. So I'm going to deploy my armor reserves. I'm going to deploy them to back up this one, back up here. Also, we have some artillery down here in the south and some anti-tank guns. So we really only need the anti-tank guns for over here. Kind of sense car for here. And we'll lightly prestige these guys, since we're not going to do much with them, I don't believe, but we will use them as kind of a cheap backup unit. Oh, was that everyone? Alright, well, we'll throw these guys down here also. And uh, let's get to it then. So the Polish get the first move in the north. Everything's being super jerky today, and I have no idea why. But you'll have to bear with me while it happens, because uh, I honestly don't know how my computer works that well. So I'm getting like 10 frames though, which is very strange. Um, poles are attacking me, and I'm of course going to take significant losses standing on a bridge. So I'm going to try and fall back so that I can not take significant losses, basically. Um... 
So yeah, we'll move back. We'll see how far up we can move this artillery first off. So we can move them up to right about, mm, I'd say right here. So we can move this guy back here, this guy back here, and he can't flank us from the bridge. So it'd be damn near suicide to try and hold these bridges like that. Whereas with these guys, at least we can consider the concept of support. We'll bring in some guys to strafe this infantry though. Just give them an idea that our Air Force still exists. I'm super annoyed by the lag that I'm getting though. I and mean, you want to annoy a gamer, give him some lag on an offline game. Oh, did I forget artillery fees? No, I didn't. I have artillery down here. Artillery. Glorious artillery. You can never have too much already. You can, just, you can have like maybe a, quite a bit of already, but you can't have too much. It's statistically impossible. And I'll hold down this area too, so they really can't get across that bridge. So I'll go ahead and try and find some places that reserves may or may not be needed at. If I go here, I could also fire on these guys, and then move up. Uh, next turn to be the supporting person that I need to be. Of course, these are my special equipment units. Meaning, basically, that they will fight quite long and quite hard. And I'll send these guys up here to try and see if we can flank around. Hold here. Move these guys up into their supporting position. And that will pretty much be it, except for these AT guns. One of which I'll move over here. And one of which I'll deploy this way. And this guy moves to hold this location. Uh, Alright, time marked. So, they're of course going to try and hit me and assault in general. And I believe we'll be able to hold them back quite well since we're forcing them onto a bridge. So yes, they've taken a major objective with relatively little, you know, strive, strife for what it's worth, but at the same time, they're not really going to be able to take it that well. <laughs> if we hold a reconnaissance unit around, pop one on and off. Now I'll pop this recce, recce unit down here. Did we grab it? Yep. All right, I get off. <laughs> One of my favorite in-game tricks. Uh, move this guy right up here. Don't know if there's anyone we can target. Don't know if there's anyone we want to target. But yeah, we can just rip this armor to pieces on the bridges. And suffer almost no losses whilst doing so. So it's only in the last portion that we'll actually have to make a push. I'll leave that guy up there and make an arty strike. Minus five, minus five. I'll strike here. Just because it'll, it'll really piss that guy off mostly. And then I'll hit him again to make him fall back. Hit this guy. There's no way they're going to break through back there for the time being. Although I just suspect this has the, all the indications of a probe more than the general attack. So I'm going to fire on this cavalry, because cavalry is kind of insane at some points in time. Don't know who does the cavalry calculations, but they should be shot. Um, move the tank over here to discourage river crossings. Because they're all bad ideas, especially when you're trying to cross my river, specifically. Reinforce that guy. And I have a feeling they're going to try and attack across the bridge. So I'll move this guy up here this way and... See if we can't find out what happened to that Stuka. Oh. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that, but all's well that ends well. I mean, he blew up some guys. The guy got blown up. Um, I'm going to try my best to keep these guys really supplied. Almost oversupplied, in fact. Uh, I'm going to move these guys up here, just because it looks like they might need it on some occasions. Maybe if someone were to potentially break through across one of the rivers or something. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. Let the PKSs try and get across the bridges. 
watch them as they take the massive losses because they're, you know, stuck trying to cross the bridge and I forgot about that guy right there. That's going to be a big blow. I need a way to defend these rivers right there. That's kind of a hard place to defend. So I'm going to go ahead and bomb him. And shoot him with the tank. I don't know why, but I think the, t the game considers cavalry to be some sort of armor. So I'll just kind of detonate the tank. And uh, resupply him. Move him up. Try to protect that flank. That guy there. Try and just get a good front going along. Keep everyone well, well supplied. I mean, I don't think there's any way you're getting across this bloody river. I don't care what you say. So yeah. Not exactly the hardest scenario once you know how to play it. If you don't know how to play it, it'll really blow you up the first few times. Because, I mean, the first few times I got here I tried to defend on the bridges, which is a big no-no for defending a bridge, really. Let's hang out on the bridge, guys. It's only a really narrow structure with confined fields of fire. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go over here and straight this cavalry unit. <laughs> um, t -t 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 wonder if I can take this guy on with this guy. Machine gun fight. Um, do 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 do. I figured the zone of control could protect them, but I guess it would have to protect them behind it, and that doesn't apply. These guys have enough ammo. I'll keep them supplied. These guys also get resupplied. Pretty much everyone who can. Everyone who hasn't done stuff. Have you done stuff? Yes, I have done stuff. You can now not do stuff. Congratulations. And in general, just trying to try to oversupply everything. Because we're also getting prestige per turn. About 25, actually. And so as long as we can hold these objectives... Which I need to get that one back. We get more prestige per turn for holding objectives and such. Which, you know, makes it a very good idea to hold stuff like objectives. Next turn it will rain, which will be good to our uh, advantage. Can this guy strike one of these guys? Can you strike one of these guys? So I'll go ahead and shoot these guys on the bridge, since, you know, they're on the bridge. No, honestly, really, it's just a chicken shoot. They walk towards us, we shoot them. Or a turkey shoot. <laughs> um... I'll drive over here, just because I don't see any imminent threats to this area. Commence with my killer artillery barrage. And I'll try and bombard these guys, because they look like they could flank around and come for the artillery. And I don't want that to happen. So where did that, um... Where did that Stuka I had go? <laughs> there he is. Found him. Almost out of fuel. I'm gonna send this guy... ...to go try and... ...scrape these guys out of action. Just cause. Because these guys are trapped in a riverbed, it should be... ...not easy pickings, but... ...decently... ...not hard pickings. I don't really want to start pushing back just yet. Just yet. Move on to the bridge. Oh look, we took the bridge. But we're now stuck on the bridge. So I'll move this artillery up to support that guy now. Just because he looks like he could use some sound moral support. I don't know how artillery affects units defending bridges. I don't know if it makes them like suddenly the ubermensch or something. 
Although I do know I'd love to have an anti-tank unit ambush someone. If that could be at all possible. And next time it will rain. Which means our air power will go offline, which is a good time for us to, you know, drag our air power back and refuel and rearm it. Is that everyone? You haven't done anything yet. Um, trying to keep them well fueled, but always that one chance to take out a general or something with heavy artillery fire. You take it. Because, you know, he's there. Might as well. So, yeah, they're going to commence their assault on my tank. Which didn't go too well for them. More artillery fire. You can see that suppression really paying off and that it's really hard for these tanks to... It's really hard for them to take out those tanks because they're... Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about though. I'm sure you guys understand. You all understand the inner workings of my mind. Right guys? <laughs> Move this artillery back into a supporting position and... Strike those art, art, artillery, those infantry. Try and see if I can uh, sneak this guy about. Didn't work as well as I expected. We kind of ran to the guys I should have known about. But didn't because I am their genius. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to move on to this thing just to claim it for the Deutschland. And right now we really need to go back and get some supplies. And I'll bring these guys over here to do kind of a cap. Not a cap, um... To do sort of a, um, just kind of hold down the four-dish kind of thing. And of course, since these guys have moved up onto the bridge, I'll move this artillery up to support them. Which, by extent, means I'll be able to get some nice artillery strikes on maybe these guys. <clears throat> no, we managed to suppress them entirely. So we can get a really nice shot off on them. Oh yeah, that's right, they have artillery in the background up there. I'll have to strike that soon with my, uh... Oh, hey. I'll have to strike that soon. So yeah. It's all really just about keeping them within artillery support range. Which this guy is now not in artillery support range, so we'll have to start bombarding the living shit out of everything. It's really the bad thing about advances. I need to get um that Stuka. I need the rain to stop. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna bombard that, do their little assault. Apparently they have gladiator biplanes. Which is good because my guy just finished refueling and all that, which means I'll be right on top of that. Have to retreat that guy if he survives. If any makes it. Hmm. I don't like it, I managed to hit my artillery really hard that time. And they've taken out my recon. No. Not reconnaissance Randy. Oh well, whatever. Reconnaissance Randy was kind of a dick anyway. So we'll go ahead and strike this guy in the bridge, because it's pretty easy to figure out where you are if you're standing on a bridge. You just shoot the bridge. Yay, prestige. Let's play a game called Blow Up the Artillery. Death to all heathens. It's the official title of the game. It's in your game, developing. In development, support me on Kickstarter. Death to heathens, blow up the artillery. God, I don't know what's up with the frame rate this, this time around. That artillery's down for right now, but it should be kind of okay. All things considered. Just thinking if we can afford to shoot the ammo. I'm pretty sure we can, and that artillery could be really annoying. So yeah. A bit of risk, but also quite a bit of gain could be made. So, you know. Life, basically. Oh, hey gladiator. I hear you were gladiating things. Don't. 
explosions. Stop. I don't, 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 don't want to know. Don't wanna know. Can you go away? I'm gonna stop murdering the Lion King before the Lion King tries to murder me. And, uh, in general, just more explosions. I've never seen a video that didn't have a good amount of more explosions. And we'll end the turn there. So, more gladiators. Same amount of gladiators. A proper tank. I don't intend for this tank to survive, if you haven't guessed by now. So you're gonna try and push across the bridge, are you? Need to get that guy, uh, resupplied with some proper <laughs> freaking cannon shells. Yeah, that tank's not gonna make it. These bridges really are helping to bottleneck the enemy advance, though. Might actually start bringing some, uh, my reserves over. Getting close to the end of times. End of times. End of, uh, my time. Gotta reinforce this guy because he'll be useless without supply. This guy looks like he's about to get real busy, so I'll resupply him. Um. Meantime, can we strike? Yes, we can. Do we have enough? Seven. Yeah, we do. Ooh, that was a really good hit. Nailed him. Just absolutely ripped him to pieces. Um, yeah, guys, if you haven't got the memo yet, this is still my damn bridge. And I'm taking this artillery out, too. Where's that fighter plane? Will you just go away? Alright, so they're reorganizing. Can we wipe them out? No, we need artillery support. Glorious artillery support. I gotta say, artillery is like my least favorite and most favorite unit in the game simultaneously. You know what I mean? I mean, on the one hand it sucks because it's extremely hard to get unentrenched, but on the other hand it's amazing because it's extremely hard to get unentrenched. And I think I'll move this anti-tank unit right where it is, because it's doing a damn fine job of being itself. It sounds like a really crappy motivational poster, but it really is. I'll take this bridge back by moving a tank directly on it, then moving explosions right next to that tank. Um, in turn and see what ill fate tries to bring us. You're trying to cross a river towards an anti-tank gun supported by artillery. <coughs> you see, this is why you guys historically lost the war. It's not that you all really didn't try hard, it's just that's not gonna work. You see, those guys down there in the south, uh, west, have the right idea- oh shit, I said they broke through. Well, we have to break them back. Yeah, I'm running out of frontage here. Surprise, bitch, it's a tank. I'm trying to imagine someone just, like, shouting at the top of their lungs. Um, good, we have fuel to do this. Go away, Polish Air Force. None. Don't want none of your sass. And... Don't have quite the fuel to make it there, but I'm gonna move over here and bomb the living Christ out of that guy. Can you all deal with this if I don't have to give you all copious amounts of support? Because, I mean, we got slightly bigger fish on my frying pan. Yeah, these guys need support a bit more, and they've got more... they got, in general, more bad juju going on. So I'm going to wind up 
teaching these people an important lesson about why the hell you stay away from my artillery. Stay out of my river. Stay out of my territory, in general. I'm silly becoming the World War II Heisenberg. This is my bridge. Don't you forget it. I'm gonna get those guys, some new guys. Bring these guys up to replace our frontage. Or, well, re kind of reinforce our, fr our frontage is kind of, not really crumbling, but, um, could use a bit of bolstering. This, this, this river, though, is kind of hard to defend, because it needs a, it needs a little kink in it like that. Kinks are easy to defend. This flat river is really hard to get artillery, because they need it right there. So they need to protect the flanks of the artillery somehow, and it's hard to get artillery to support this guy without getting infantry pulling across the side. Although I think I can't afford another... Yes, I can't afford yet more artillery. Well, I probably should start investing in anti-aircraft units soon at some point. So... What do I need more of, really? I seem to have enough artillery as is. As if one could ever have enough. I guess I could use more... Um, anti-tank, but more... I need more of something, I know that much. More Stukas, that'll be fine. More Stukas. Yeah, I kind of expected that. I'll replace that tank later. We're doing pretty well, compared to the first time I played this mission. Which was, I'm talking about the actual first time I played this mission. In all my inexperience and youth. That was an interesting day. <laughs> Um, so they're trying to cross over and do kind of a weird flanky thing, and I'm not digging it. That's the new Mocho Bunaroto. So I'm just gonna destroy them, because you know, they're trying to cross- <laughs> you just cannot cross rivers in this game. If a river is properly defended, there's no way you're getting across it. This artillery's gonna be kept busy though, and I'm a bit worried they might start running out of ammo. Which is nice when your only worry is, do we have enough bullets? But you know, also kind of not nice because your main worry is, do we have enough bullets? And good thing about a new Stuka, who's ready to come on station just as the old guys are backing off. And uh... Tw -tw -tw. I might actually go ahead and try and lessen the pressure on these guys by destroying some infantry units over here. Just because they won't reinforce now, so we won't have to deal with as much bullcrap flying over the ridges. Oh, hey, there's still some Polish guys here. I didn't even notice these guys. Good job contributing to the war effort, boys. I'll send some fire your way. I imagine them just kind of sticking a flamethrower on maximum over fire. As if that were a thing, and just kind of pointing it on the bridge and bathing the entire thing in fire. That's how you clear a bridge, boys. This thing must be destroyed. If it is not my artillery, it is Satan's artillery. We're doing pretty well, we're almost halfway through the mission though. So I think I'll actually go halfway and then cut it short. Um, just to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. Because it's typically after things get halfway that things go to hell. So... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Everything looks pretty fine from here. Alright. Yeah. You would show up. <laughs> Just sit on that bridge. Trust me, nothing bad will happen. Alright. There's another more generalish kind of assault. They're coming across the bridge. We don't want them to come across the bridge. We shoot them. They fall back. I wonder if there's any way I can get that Messerschmitt from all the way over here. Where is my Messerschmitt from all the way over here? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Cannot. But I can get this guy all the way over here. Do this, drop bomb there. You had literally one job. Only one target I never need you to actually hit. I'm only bringing him over there so I can resupply this guy this turn. Instead of having him constantly fire, because it's 
starting to take a toll on his ammo stores. I'm actually going to chase this guy back across the river with my get up as Yager. Who, by the way, have the most amazing sounding song in the history of the universe, if I haven't mentioned it already, which I think I have at least 12 times. Um, pull these guys back just a bit, just a nip, just enough that it's, you know, not going to kill them. And we, now we wait for the massive Polish bush over here, and I should really deploy someone over here. So those guys are hanging out down there. Um, uh, more tank. More tank. More tank. German steel is strong. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, that should work fine. I just noticed we were kind of weak. Oh, <laughs> speak. Just damn good timing, me. So they're trying to cross. Cross a push the bridge. Cross a push the bridge. So I guess they maybe noticed me or something. Either way, they didn't fall into my ambush trap, which is slightly annoying to me. I was really counting on that thing working to, you know, be annoying and stuff. Really helping me super annoying. Yeah, I'm that kind of player. I'm just hoping you'd be annoyed. I'm going to break my own rule and cross the... <laughs> burn it! Just stick it in the face! Ah, flamethrowers. And I'll pull these gents back. And it's time to commence with Operation... Oh, jeez, we can blow this guy up. <laughs> it's not even the operational name, but it works for me. Just constantly adjusting my mic, so my voice is probably modulated between, like, ear-piercing ear -piercing screeches and... Not ear-piercing screeches. And I bet that horses do count as armor. Those are looking pretty armor tastical values. Some more fire on there. And I'm starting to think that if it ha a a attacks have tapered off in that one particular sector. You know, we just killed Gerald Vald. So I'm going to move this artillery over to here. Do a strike there. Just let him know that I'm still present. As long as we can keep repulsing them like that, I mean, I don't really see any reason why they should be able to push across. I mean, I'd say we're doing fairly decent as is, and... I mean, that's three infantry. We need to hold this. Somehow. If I were able to move this guy up here and move the cannon behind him, he might be able to hold for a small amount of time if the infantry were right there. So maybe next turn? And I'll put this guy right here. We'll see if we can pin them in like that. <laughs> It'll be a really strange offensive posture, but if it works, we can hold this entire ridge. Even move the infantry up as needed. That'll be an interesting challenge. I think that's where the challenge is, actually. Uh, let's kill General Baltic. Baltuck. Get my special equipment to fire on him. And, uh, that's been halfway, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the recording here, and, uh, just see you guys in the next part.